All right, so in real life, the... What do you mean real life? This is real well, life. Okay. Go ahead. If I purchase a stock, the dividend payouts aren't, you know, every single instant in time. So in that sense, the X is a discrete process. But so what we're doing here is we're taking the continuous time analog to sort of approximate this discrete process. And what we're doing is we're breaking it up pretty much using Taylor's rule and Ito's lemma to get back at another, you know, like uh, the continuous time analog. So we have two approximations going on. Do you, is there any big issue in terms of trying to match this to the data? So in many, many ways, I'm presenting the simplest possible version of the theory so we can get the ideas right. Where that shows up is, is right here. What I assumed here is that there is a constant flow of dividends per unit time. I mean, literally, they are sending you a cent every second. Uh, ex so, exactly. Now, it's not at all hard to generalize this formula to let them, for, rather than giving you uh, a, a unit, uh, a flow of dividends constantly, we could have them give you lumpy dividends every now and then. You could have no dividends for a while and then a big terminating dividend. Uh, we're using diffusions. Uh, the general theory allows for jump processes in all sorts of places. So I would just advocate, let's understand it all with the simple version and then adding those kinds of uh, realistic uh, uh, things. Now, that's important when you get to data. When you get to data, uh, you have to know that the dividends come boom. And, and typically what happens is the price goes down the, the minute the dividends are actually paid. Uh, but, but for conceptual purposes, that's what I'm doing. OK, so to estimate it, say I want to use GMM or whatever, you know, should I try to take into account, like sort of rederive this with a different distribution going in? Uh, I'll, I'll just say yes. You, use formulas more like the reality of the securities you're actually using. Uh, there's, there's a larger art of approximation. So where does it actually cause problems to use a slightly too simple formula? There's all sorts of realities that we often gloss over. Um, sometimes they matter, sometimes they don't. That, that's an artistic question. Okay.